morning all of you today i'm going to start with another topic which is a very burning topic related to environment pollution problem because this is one of the factors which is responsible for causing any type of pollution because when you will see the statistics you will come to know that this reason is mainly responsible for any type of pollution happening around us the topic which is known as human population and its impact on the environment what do we mean by population how can we define this term which is known as population the term population refers to a group of individuals of a of a species occupying a definite geographic area at a given time the sum of all the population of the same kind constitutes a species therefore human population of the world belong to a single species which is known as homo sapiens when i started this subject i told you that there are four major factors which are responsible for any type of pollution the first one was said to be rapid industrialization then we have urbanization which i have discussed then we have deforestation and above all one of the major factors which was responsible for any type of pollution was overpopulation because the more the population the more will be the need of resources and when there will be no need of resources we will have to do more industrialization and development and this industrialization and development has resulted into the pollution of air pollution of water and of the land therefore this is one of the major factor we we'll, in this chapter we will discuss about what is the major effect of population on human life on plant life and on the environment now let us discuss this term which is known as population explosion if we compare the statistics of india with uh, other countries that we see that india is the second most populous country of the world after china the if this current growth rate continues it will have 1.63 billion people by 2050 and will be the most populous country surpassing china so we are heading a very serious problem of population explosion there is one another term which is known as population clock how can we define this population clock every second on an average four to five children are born out of which two children die thus resulting in the net gain of nearly 2.5 persons per second this mean that every hour we are growing by about 9000 children and every day by about 2 lakh 14000 children or the population is increasing by about 9000 every hour and every day about 2 lakh 14000 now you can, if you compare this statistic therefore it's going to be really trouble for all of us that by 2050 india will be the most populous country of this world and will surpass china effect of population explosion it is causing severe resource depletion it has resulted in the environmental degradation our resources like land water fossil fuel minerals etc are limited and due to overpopulation these resources are getting exhausted day by day Industrial and economic growth is increasing, but adding toxic pollutants to the environment, to the air, to the water, and to the soil. Therefore, this is a very dangerous problem for all of us, and it needs to be controlled well in time. First, fifteen largest country. You can see that India is heading above all the other countries with a population of one six two eight million. Then China one three six nine. million us is 404 and you can see rest of the nations egypt has 117 million and indonesia 312 so from this statistics you can very well understand that first 15 largest country in india is heading above all with a population of 1628 million 
Now let us see the population growth rate. How this population growth rate is affecting the overall increase in the population. Human population growth rate is measured as the annual average growth rate which can be calculated from the following formula. Average annual growth rate in percentage is equal to P2 minus P1 upon P1 into N into 100. Now let us uh, discuss what these terms are. P1 is actually the population size in the previous census. Then we have P2 is the population size in the present census and is the number of years between the two census. Therefore, the growth average annual growth rate can be calculated by substituting the values of uh, population size in the previous census, population size in the present census and n is the number of years between the two census. The growth rate depends on several factors. The first factor is said to be fertility. How can you define fertility? It is the ability of the individual to produce babies. Fertility is actually the determinant of the current growth of population. How? Because the total fertility rate varies from region to region. The high fertility in the developing world is partially explained by the large number of hands needed to perform low technology tasks. As the technology improves, parents realize that having more children leads to low standard of living. Therefore, many Asian countries they believe that the more the working hand in a family, the more will be the standard of living. But as technology advances, then the parent realizes that the having more children leads to the low standard of living. Next factor is the mortality and migration. Basically, mortality is the death rate per thousand individual. In most of the countries, the death rate has dropped. Since industrial revolution, mainly what are the factors responsible for decrease in the mortality rate? Because we have improved personal hygiene, then we have awareness or sanitation towards sanitation, modern medical science, modern medical science, a decrease in death rate would increase population growth rate. Next factor is the migration. Actually, migration is the movement of individual into or out of a place or out of a country which results in the increase in the population of another place where the people is migrated uh, in search of job in search of uh, uh, we can say that if the person is moving in search of the job or if he is shifting to some other place then there will certainly be increase in the population of the other country or the nation now how can we control this it is like a time bomb which must be diffused well in time. The population must be kept much below the carrying capacity and stabilized so that the aftermath of explosion could be avoided. The first step is the family planning. This allows the couple to decide their family size and modern science has provided several birth control techniques which include surgical methods, then we have chemical methods, physical barrier to implantation. The United Nations Family Planning Agency provides funds to 135 countries. Successful family planning programs need significant changes including social, educational, economic status of women, social security, political stability, awareness and confidence building along with effectivity of the birth control measures help in controlling the population. Now, what is the effect of overpopulation on environment and human health? The overpopulation has resulted in the increased level of environmental degradation because the world population has increased dra dramatically. The population densities in different parts of the world are different. About half of the 6.1 billion people live in property, well, sorry, poverty, and at least one fifth are severely undernourished or malnourished. Developing nations like India contain majority of the world population. They also have a large rural population which is shifting to urban areas in search of wealth and job. 
This lets this lead to the consumption of natural resources, generate more products, urban waste, and contaminate the environment. Next, we have increased urbanization also put pressure on agriculture land to produce more food on less land, leading to increased pollution by intensive agriculture practices. Then the huge human population pressurizes and degrades the environment physically, chemically, biologically, and even ethically also. Human health. The state of health of the people does not depend on the number of doctors in the hospital but also on the clean environment. The changes in the human environment has increased the incidence of many diseases. Nearly 80% of the world disease in developing countries are considered to be waterborne. About 15 lakh children die of waterborne disease like diarrhea. It is also due to water pollution and population growth. Therefore, this problem is a very dangerous problem. It needs to be controlled well in time. Otherwise, it will lead to the degeneration of the environment and cause much threat to human life, plant life and to the environment. This is about my today's lecture. In the next lecture, we will start with uh, energy resources. Thank you everyone.